you look at what's happened in the last year, yeah, we 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 leash some debt. But as far as our overall debt limit, the way that is typically measured is general obligation debt. And we're not even a fraction to the limit of what we could incur from a general ob obligation debt perspective. To me, the biggest question on the wrap tax on whether you issue bonds or not is whether you're you know you're going to spend about two million dollars, uh, as Bryce mentioned, in interest. And the question is: Is, is construction interest going to impact construction inflation? Can it outpace that? I think we've tried to be fairly conservative and in, in only borrowing 75% of what's available. So that gives you a pretty good cushion. But 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 whether or not you want to uh, to do that, I mean, and the other challenge is you are going to be limited to spending money on new construction on when the impact fees come in. So you're going to be forced to delay that based on when that comes in. But if you want to start on the improvements and work on existing parts that need work and get it started immediately, uh, the bonds provide that benefit.